Well, we have the editor of Upshoots Magazine, Mojid Jamiu, in the studio with us to analyze uh, this new development. Thank you for joining us on the show. Yeah, good morning. Nice yeah. to see you. Good morning. Yeah. 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 First off, how do you think Nigeria really will benefit from this new uh, agreement with uh, Turkey? Yeah, you know, um, Nigeria and uh, Turkey uh, both have um, long-lasting um, diplomatic and uh, economic uh, uh, ties. Uh, recall the Turkish um, uh, international schools in Nigeria, and also there is this. Um, I mean, the, 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 when you look at uh, exchange of trade between uh, Nigeria and Turkey, it's about uh, 3.5 billion dollars every year. Most of the uh, foot mats, um, quality uh, mats and rugs, uh, the, the fluffy types that you see, are from are from Turkey and. Um, uh, recently, there was this um, uh, visa exchange between um, uh, Nigeria and Turkey. To uh, hitherto, you can go to you need a Turkish visa to uh, go to Turkey. But now, uh, if you have a British visa, you can go to uh, uh, Turkey with your uh, British visa. So, uh, it's part of an agreement to strengthen um, uh, diplomatic and cultural, uh, diplomatic, cultural, and economic uh, relationship between Nigeria and Turkey. So. Uh, if you have to go to UK and you want to stop by in Turkey through Turkish Airlines, I mean, you don't need um, another uh, Turkish mm -hmm. visa. You get your visa at the point of order for free. So these are some of the things that have uh, been uh, put in place to ensure that um, the bilateral and uh, mutual relationship uh, continues between Nigeria uh, and uh, Turkey. And uh, when uh, there was a special invitation to the Nigerian president by uh, Erdogan, um, uh, recess Erdogan, the uh, Turkish uh, president, mm -hmm. uh, at the last uh, UNGA, the United Nations General Assembly for, Ni for Nigeria and Turkey to further strengthen uh, uh, diplomatic relations. I recall that uh, the president and um, President Buhari and um, uh, the Customs uh, Comptroller General uh, was on that trip. Yeah, Amir Ali was on that trip to Turkey, where <coughs> a lot of things uh, were, were, were discussed, uh, aimed at for the boosting uh, the relationship between the two countries. Mm -hmm. All right, th there are concerns that uh, if you look at all of the uh, trade relations, you look at all of the ties and all the engagement and, and uh, alliances, uh, th there are concerns that most of the trade are very lopsided mm -hmm. to the benefit of Turkey more than Nigeria. Yeah, it's, it's actually skewed uh, in favor of uh, uh, Turkey uh, because um, Nigeria is a monolithic um, uh, economy, so to say. Well, uh, our major um, export is uh, crude oil. So, uh, whereas the, 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 the quest for most Nigerians is uh, exotic items, uh, uh, we have uh, most of the things, I mean, textiles, uh, mm -hmm. for example, quality textile materials um, and some and building materials mm. I mean and I even some luxury items mm. luxury, yeah, so luxury items that's sophisticated uh, taste buds. That, that is it so uh, w when you have that kind of thing uh, there's a limit to the amount of crude oil uh, that they can take from Nigeria uh, whereas uh, our cities I mean we have a one, 180 million po population and um, the the top uh, hierarchy of, of our citizens uh, uh, loves uh, some of these exotic items. So naturally it will be skewed uh, um, in favor of uh, Turkey. But then to address this, we need to also add value uh, into our agricultural uh, uh, chain so that uh, some of the uh, yam exports that we are doing now, um, uh, cassava, cassava and uh, what have you, the, the non-oil exports, if we, if we, if we aim at importing increasing that, then I think uh, there could be a sort of a, a balance um, of, of trade between Nigeria and Turkey. But as it is, if we continue with just uh, the export of crude oil and we import uh, textiles and other uh, household uh, materials from them, then the, the balance of trade will continue to be in favor of, uh, of, of, of Turkey. Turkey. Well, uh, of course, uh, an official of Turkey last year in Nigeria said that Nigeria is uh, one of its most important supply of uh, liquefied natural gas. But like you said, yeah. it's always uh, yeah, usually it's, it's in oil, oil and gas. Side, yeah. really. So, I would just say that uh, apart from all this now, is the, the governments of the day, not just this present administration now, that do not get uh, to seem to understand the need to. Uh, 
get better deals for Nigeria to diversify the economy. For example, now part of the agreement is on aviation as well for more slots for the Turkish, for Turkish airline. airlines. Yeah. But Nigeria doesn't even have a national carrier. Yeah, yeah like, like, uh, like, 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 like you rightly said, if Turkey is asking for more um, uh, slots for its uh, airline, what is Nigeria going to use as a bargaining tool? Uh, when British Airways made uh, the same uh, requests uh, a few years back uh, through British Airways, I mean, British Airways uh, was granted a landing permit in Abuja, for example. Then, ARIC was still um, uh, uh, very much on the uh, uh, Lagos-London uh, route. Mm -hmm. And the, the, as, uh, as a way of balancing that, uh, ARIC Air was also granted uh, uh, landing rights uh, from uh, Abuja to, uh, to Heathrow, uh, not only from Lagos to Heathrow. So it's like <coughs> a, a balance uh, of, of, of trade so that it won't be skewed uh, towards uh, uh, BA alone. But in this case, in this instance, no Nigerian airline even flies directly to Turkey. So if that kind of waiver is granted, the Turkish airlines, it will be to the advantage of Turkey, which means more, they'll have more uh, slots to, uh, to fly uh, into Nigeria, so it's it's the, the 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 balance of trade is skewed naturally in favor of Turkey because they have the way with us. They have more uh, uh, economic uh, items to export to Nigeria, whereas we have uh, only very limited uh, stuff uh, to export uh, to to Turkey, apart from crude oil and natural gas. The non-oil exports, our minerals are, I mean, our mineral resources are just coming up. So the mining sector is just coming up. And even at that, what we export in, uh, from the uh, mining sector is just uh, raw, not uh, refined. So something that should cost like um, $1 million, uh, if it is processed and refined, uh, would my, might sell for about $100,000. Uh, in its raw form. Even so in agricultural sectors? Right? Even in mm -hmm. agricultural sectors. So, uh, until we add value in uh, the, our agricultural chain, if we increase our, our, our processing, uh, it's just like the ca case, case of cocoa. Mm -hmm. uh, the price of uh, uh, chocolate keeps in, in, in increasing while that of uh, cocoa is almost uh, uh, stagnant. Mm -hmm. Whereas most of the, I mean, I think Nigeria is number uh, five or number six now in cocoa production. But uh, uh, chocolates all over the world, they depend on uh, uh, this um, cocoa. Uh, cocoa. So if we don't improve on our value chain, it will be difficult for us to achieve that diversification of uh, economy that we are uh, almost uh, always uh, yearning for. All right, let, let's talk about the, the Turkish schools in Nigeria, where the, the curriculum seemed to be almost like a, a, a Turkish curriculum in those schools where Nigerians are attending. And uh, if you go to Turkey, I, I'm not aware whether there are Niger schools with Nigerian curriculum there as well as the case may be. How, how does this uh, play out as well? Yes, uh, the options, uh, I mean, the, the, there is a standard uh, in the educational sector in Nigeria, although it's, I mean, it, it's skewed towards um, a Nigerian curriculum. We have uh, uh, the, also the British curriculum running in Nigeria. We have the American curriculum running in Nigeria. Uh, we have some schools that run uh, stores like uh, uh, Bella. Uh, uh, they, they call it Bella. Um, I, I can't uh, uh, figure out the, the full uh, meaning now, but then I think it's uh, okay. Yeah, British English uh, uh, language. So, in, in some schools, even in some Nigerian schools, the same thing. Uh, it, it's, it's it's a matter of choice. But then they teach the basic. Nigerian educational curriculum. Then, for we have a lot of Turkish uh, nationals in Nigeria. They actually set up uh, the educational sector to cater for their own uh, Turkish national. But then Nigerians see quality in it, so they are uh, key into it. But then, it's it, it's optional if you want to st uh, st study uh, Turkish uh, curriculum. I mean, it's just a fraction of uh, it. But then, like you rightly pointed out, we don't have uh, that kind of uh, enterprise that will allow. Nigerians to set up uh, Nigerian schools in, in Turkey, for example. Uh, we have so many Turkish businessmen mm. all over the world um, uh, the, that are establishing their interests outside of Turkey, not only in Nigeria. The Turkish schools are all over uh, Africa and all over the world, not only in Nigeria. And anywhere they go, they try as much uh, as possible to propagate uh, the Turkish ideals 
in some of these uh, uh, schools, even if it's just a, a mere 10%. Mm. And by extension, uh, the locals, uh, like Nigerians who attend to such schools, also uh, partake in uh, uh, some of the Turkish uh, uh, curriculum. So it's not as if it's exclusively uh, Turkish, because there are standards that you must meet uh, from the Ministry of Education, both at the federal and state level, for you to establish uh, 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 these uh, uh, schools in Nigeria. So Turkey is not an exception. We have the British International School. We have the American International School. We have some schools running then the basic Nigerian um, uh, educational system must form at least 70 or 80 percent of your curriculum before these approvals are given. And I want to believe that uh, the ministry, the, the uh, supervising ministries, uh, like the Ministry of Education, uh, Science and Technology, uh, takes into consideration the fact that they must keep uh, a, a tab on uh, these schools uh, so that they won't derail from what uh, they have been set to, uh, to do in the country. All right, well, it seems uh, Nigeria uh, could benefit in the aspect of security. Uh, the Turkish government is saying that it could provide uh, some form of uh, intelligence and support for the Nigerian security agencies in fighting uh, Boko Haram, how uh, that is going to be effective you know, compared to the support the country is getting uh, from countries like the United States. Uh, well, you could tell us more about that. And then education as well, like last year about uh, Less than 100, anyway, of Nigerian students were given scholarship in Turkey and then health. Yes. Um, uh, like I said earlier, the Comptroller General of uh, Customs uh, was on that trip uh, uh, with the President, uh, President Buhari, to Turkey to meet with uh, uh, the uh, Turkish uh, 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 PM, uh, Erdogan. Uh, basically, what informed that visit was uh, the, uh, uh, that, was, that was a, a mild. Um, a, a drama in the uh, seizure of some um, a contraband well, uh, uh, in, in between April and uh, September. And the investigation revealed that uh, most of this contraband, uh, the rifles that were seized, about 1,000 uh, uh, cumulative, uh, came from Turkey. So, and um, it's, it formed, um, it, it, it was like a, a security threat uh, to Nigeria, uh, to, I mean, and some of these were traced uh, to some uh, Turkish nationals and, uh, and their Nigerian collaborators. So that actually informed that visit. Of course, uh, there have been a lot of um, uh, military uh, uh, support uh, from Turkey uh, to Nigeria uh, in the past. And, um, you know, the, 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 the Turkish, I mean, uh, the Turkish uh, uh, defense industry is a very strong one, just like we have uh, in uh, Namibia and South Africa, too, apart from what we get from Russia and the uh, and U.S. So, uh, to streamline some of these things, that's why the, uh, the customs uh, uh, boss had to uh, go with uh, uh, the president to ensure that if arms and ammunition are coming to Nigeria, they mm. are well documented mm -hmm. and they pass through uh, the normal channels so that it won't uh, seem as if individuals are, are bringing these arms through the back door to come and uh, do uh, arm in uh, uh, Nigeria. So. Mm. Uh, I, I think uh, that is being streamlined, and also, uh, like like you just said, the, in, in education, they are the Turkish government. Although you might say it's a bit minute, a uh, hundred uh, scholarships, but then it's it's a beginning. How many uh, scholarships is Nigeria giving to uh, uh, foreign nationals? In time past, we had situations where uh, South Africans benefited from uh, uh, scholarships from Nigeria. Uh, but I think because of the economic downturn and the uh, 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 relationship between Nigeria and some of these countries, uh, that is being uh, addressed uh, in favor of uh, Nigeria now. So it's been a mutually beneficial relationship between Nigeria in terms of education, health. Uh, I think there's a Turkish hospital in Abuja uh, where uh, they have a, a state of the art facilities at offering, uh, although at a cost. Expensive, very expensive. <laughs> yeah, very expensive. Very, very but, expensive. Then, but then it is there. Uh, as a lot of Nigerians uh, patronize uh, the, the Turkish so hospital. How many Nigerians can afford so that? That was why I asked that uh, in health. How, how beneficial? Would yes, that well, be it, it, it was set Nigerians? up. It was set up to help those who can afford it. I mean, what stops us uh, as Nigerians from having our own uh, national uh, hospital that is up to date that mm -hmm. can actually uh, give. Um, uh, the medical needs of uh, uh, Nigerians. All right. Now, we're, we're trying to look at the time, but 
The, the recently f following uh, President uh, Buhari's visit, uh, the Turkish authorities made a request for Nigeria to repatriate about 1,000 Turkish citizens yes. uh, following the uh, uh, coup d'etat attempt in their country some time ago mm -hmm. and, and the allegation that some of them were linked to terrorism. Uh, Nigeria terrible. agreeing to do that. There are implications here and there, but if they don't do that, uh, there's still going to be implications. How would that you know, uh, impact on their bilateral relations and friendship? Uh, just last night, there was a statement uh, uh, by the uh, Ministry of Finance, uh, signed by the uh, Honorable Minister of uh, uh, Finance, I mean, sorry, the, uh, Foreign Affairs, uh, that um, no ch uh, such request on 1,000 uh, uh, Turkish nationals uh, uh, was made by the Turkish president. As a matter of fact, <coughs> I think only about 81 uh, requests, I mean, the request was for 81 uh, Turkish nationals uh, residing in Nigeria. The 1,000 uh, uh, being referred to was actually uh, uh, made to uh, Germany. Mm -hmm. I think uh, the, the press uh, got, uh, got it mixed up. Mm -hmm. uh, even at that, I think the, the, the key person uh, in the Turkish, uh, uh, it all boils down to the That's coup of uh, last year. Mm -hmm. And I think the key person is uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Gulen. He, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, it's in Gulen. The States. He, is, he is residing in the United States, mm -hmm. but then he has interests, all uh, business interests all over the world. And uh, Erdogan sees him, uh, the Erdogan presidency sees him as the main uh, backer, uh, the main sponsor of uh, that coup. I mean, there are so many other uh, uh, businessmen. I think. Germany is responding by profiling the Turkish citizens uh, in Germany. The same, in the same vein, I think the statement from the uh, Foreign Affairs uh, uh, Ministry yesterday uh, assured uh, uh, the Turkish government that Nigeria will do everything possible to ensure that terrorists or uh, uh, coup sponsors are not abroad in Nigeria. That mm -hmm they will be properly uh, profiled, but I don't think the figure is, uh, uh, is 1,000. Mm. All right. Yeah. Thank you very much, uh, Mojit Jamiu, editor, Upshoot Magazine. Thanks for coming on the program. Thank you very much. Right.